It is of all the witchage I often think as I journey back through time and put down my thoughts in pen and ink and try to make them rhyme. Those were the days of Edward Storrs, the Maple Shop and Charlie Young, the Rugby Field and Ellen Scores, and Jimmy Armour's Fields and Dung. Bill Flay, the Move, and Joe Pring, the Fruit, are both remembered well. So is Cabby Hill in his age one suit, on his horse-drawn hearse with Bell. Idris Evans, who baked our cakes and pud, Dan Phillips, a draper proper. Midwife Nurse Green, she was so good, so was Foggy Father Copper. So many memories now flooding back of Sunday school and Western treats, of walks along the railway track and the Rialto Cinema's tuppenny seats. Melling Griffith works, its band was great, Tom Powell quite the master. Turning up for practice a minute late was to him a real disaster. The omnibuses all open topped with their winding stairs outside were only quiet when the engine stopped but the drivers beamed with pride. Gazooka bands they did abound, in costumes bright and neat, and made the most unusual sound marching up and down the street. Those far off days of strikes and floods, and the foot and mouth disease, of us building dens in the Rubina woods and swinging through the trees. An airman in a biplane bright would buzz across the sky, the word Purcell in smoky drite and to finish dot the eye.